Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you another tutorial on TKFX. The TKFX app is an app that allows remote control of the tractor software by native instruments. Today I'm going to talk about the FX section of the TKFX app. The FX section of the TKFX app allows full control of the effects in the tractor software. So to start, I'm going to show you something that I find important for you to know before continuing this tutorial. It is that we have two units of effects by default on tractor, as you can see here and here. But if we go to settings and effects, we can change two units mode to four units and by doing this is the only way in which we can use and operate the four effect units of tractor. For now I'm gonna leave it in two effects units because everything that applies to the two effects apply to the four effects. So if we press this button here we go to FX section of the TKFX app and we can and here on the left side we see U1, U2, U3 and U4 and each one of these parts correspond to each one of the effects of tractor. As we can see here we have U1 selected which has a flanger effect and as we can see here we also have a flanger effect. If I press U2 we have a filter and here we also have a filter. One of the cool features of TKFX app is this button up here which changes the effects sections from single mode to multi-mode. So if I press this button here we can see all four effects units at the same time and we can operate each one individually or we have a button on the bottom right corner called link that if we select it as we can see we can control all four effects at the same time. So now I'm going back to single mode and another thing that one can do to the effects unit is that each effect unit also has a single and a multi mode. Right now we have selected a flanger on the first unit and if we want to change this single unit to a multi mode unit we have this button here on the right side of the name of the effect which when we press it changes to a multi mode filter which allows us to select simultaneously three effects, three different effects for one effect unit. So for now I'm going back to single mode and I'm going to select um, I'm going to select an effect for the first unit. If I select an effect for example delay we have the delay selected now and here on this left side we have the deck assign button. So if we are on unit effect one, we can assign it to deck A or deck B, deck C and deck D. This is all the decks in tractor. So now we have unit one assigned to the deck A. I'm gonna pick up a song so you can hear the effect. And as you can see, we already have the effect working. As you can see, there are four buttons below each knob of the effects in Tractor. These buttons correspond exactly the same in the TKFX app. And we have those three buttons down here. If we want to assign uh, each one of the parameters of the effect to the axis of the XYZ pad, we press ALT here 
and we see the three X's. So if I press X, I can assign a function which now is selected right. If I press the Y, I have feedback selected now. I can select it. And on Z, we have dry, wet, and on. One of the really cool features that TKFX has that it, it, you can't do in Tractor alone is that if you press Alt and this small curve icon down here, sorry, here, we have an ASR which controls attack, sustain, and release for the Z for the Z axis. What this means is that right now we have the Z assigned to on and dry wet. So when we press the curve, we can see that it will take this amount of attack time to reach this value, the sustain value. And then when we release the finger from the pad, it will take the release time to go back to zero. So again, I'm going to put the song playing and you can see the ASR in work as soon as I press the pad. And now when I release the finger, it goes back to zero in the release time. Another cool feature is right below the dry wet of the of the TKFX app, we have a hold button, which means that if we press a hold and we press the pad, it will stay like if the finger was kept pressed. Lastly, I want to talk to you about banks. On the right side of the TKFX app, we have B1, B2, B3, and B4. Each one of these four buttons correspond to different banks in the TKFX app. This means that if we're on bank one and we configure any of these units with different effects, anything that we want, they will be stored on bank one. But if we press bank two, we can have a completely different setup for all the parameters existing in the TKFX app. This means that we can have four completely different configurations of effects to use in Tractor with this app. This can be really useful and allows change between different configurations of effects really, really fast. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you soon on the next one. Goodbye.